What is a transfer case? Transfer case is a gearbox between the transmission and the drive axles in a four-wheel drive vehicle. It transfers power from the engine to both the front and rear axles. The transfer case is responsible for providing torque to the wheels of a vehicle, making it ideal for rough terrain or slippery road conditions. How does a transfer case work? A transfer case receives power from the transmission and distributes it evenly to the front and rear axles. It uses a set of gears that can be engaged or disengaged, allowing power transfer to the axles as needed. The transfer case also includes a differential, which distributes torque evenly between each axle's left and right wheels. Most transfer cases require regularly scheduled maintenance, just like other truck parts. Be sure to check fluid levels regularly, depending on application. Using a transfer case on a work car or truck is typically done through a transfer case shift lever or switch, which is in the vehicle's cab. The transfer case is a vital component of work trucks that provides improved traction, stability, and versatility. Whether driving on rough terrain or slippery roads, a transfer case helps ensure your vehicle remains stable and in control. Here is the operational work of transfer case. When two-wheel drive high range is selected, the front sleeve is moved forward, connecting the transfer input shaft to the output shaft. Drive is transmitted straight through the transfer case to the rear axle. When four-wheel drive high range is selected, the rear sleeve moves forward and connects the chain drive sprocket to the rear output shaft, allowing drive to be transmitted through the chain to the front output shaft. By moving the selector lever to four-wheel drive low range, the front sleeve is moved rearwards, transferring torque through the counter gears to the rear output shaft. The rear output shaft remains locked to the chain, so torque is delivered to the front axle. A more common type of chain drive transfer case utilizes a planetary gear set to provide the drive ratios. With two-wheel drive selected, torque from the transmission enters the input shaft of the transfer case. The planetary gear set is locked to the output shaft by an engagement fork, preventing any gear reduction through the gear set. This transfer case is bolted to the rear of the transmission. Drive is transmitted from a helical gear spline to the output shaft through an idler to the output shaft pinions. They are free to rotate on needle roller bearings on the rear section of the output shaft. They have external dog teeth facing an engagement hub and sleeve, spline to the shaft. When two-wheel drive high range is selected, the engagement sleeve engages the dog teeth of the smaller output pinion. This locks the pinion to the shaft and provides a high output speed range. Drive is transmitted through the larger pinion of the idler gear and the locked output pinion. This rotates the rear section of the output shaft, which is coupled to the rear final drive unit. Drive is transmitted through the larger pinion of the idler gear and the locked output pinion. This rotates the rear section of the output shaft, which is coupled to the rear final drive unit. The idler gear pinion transfers the drive from one shaft to the other and has no effect on the ratio. For four-wheel drive high range, splines on the rear section of the output shaft are also engaged by a separate engagement sleeve, spline to the front section. This locks front and rear sections together, providing a high output speed to all four wheels. For four-wheel drive low range, 
The transfer case engagement sleeve engages the larger output pinion. At the same time, the four-wheel drive engagement sleeve locks into position. Drive is transmitted from the transmission output to the large idler pinion, through the smaller idler pinion to the larger locked output pinion. This double reduction in the gear ratio provides a low output speed range to both front and rear wheels. With the engagement sleeve in a central or neutral position, the main transmission can drive an accessory like a cable winch. The idler gear and output pinions rotate, but no drive is transmitted to the output shaft. It has a lever to shift the transfer case between two-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive high, and four-wheel drive low ranges. You can shift from H2 to H4 while driving at speeds less than 50 miles per hour. You can shift from H2 to H4 while driving at speeds less than 50 miles per hour. To shift from H4 to L4 or L4 to H4, you must come to a complete stop and continue to press the brake pedal. Shift the transmission into neutral gear. Move the shift lever into L4 or H4 position. Then shift the transmission into either a forward or reverse gear. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content about the world of vehicle equipment. Thank you for watching and your support.